Hi, I'm uh, Richard. I'm a PTSO with British Transport Police at Hull. Um, part of my role here is that I'm a safeguarding champion um, for British Transport Police uh, on behalf of the Railway Children. Uh, Railway Children is uh, an international charity and part of their focus is concerned about uh, looking after safe, uh, the safety of vulnerable people uh, on the railway. Uh, vulnerable people on the railway do include uh, people like uh, young children who, um, who may find themselves uh, in difficult or awkward positions or possibly even find themselves uh, being exploited. So part of my role is to basically raise awareness of this and uh, as a safeguarding champion I'm available to deliver uh, training to uh, rail staff or bus staff or retailers on the station just to encourage people to be vigilant uh, to safeguarding issues so if they do see someone uh, on, on the station or on, on a train or on a bus who, who is looking vulnerable uh, for whatever reason maybe they're a bit disengaged not looking well um, possibly you know um, with people who are a lot older than them then it's having the confidence to be able to approach them and to um, you know to, to have a chat with them listen to what they have to say and if, they, you know, if there are safeguarding issues that they think you know their authorities need to be aware of then to approach uh, ourselves with transport police to report those concerns to us. Um, hi, my name's Charlene Kent. I work for Corner House in Hull. Uh, we are a sexual health organisation. I work on the Care Project, uh, which works with children at risk of child sexual exploitation. Uh, we work with prevention and crisis intervention. And I'm Janet Leonard. I work, um, I'm the Deputy Coordinator at The Warren, which is a youth centre provision for 16 to 25 year olds predominantly, opposite Queen's Gardens. CSE does happen on a daily basis everywhere in the country. Um, young people are coerced into different scenarios which they don't necessarily feel that they know they're being coerced into. So this could be used by the use of drugs, alcohol, again peer pressure, um, older people inviting them to take part in adult activities. Um, in the online world, um, social media is so prevalent um, young people all have devices, um, which is good and we embrace that and we really want to encourage young people to use that. But what we really want is for young people to be able to make informed choices, to be able to be safe um, in their everyday life.